Hey everybody! Welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Crayola Glow in the Dark set that I did with the hand drawn 3D black drawing gel from BornPrettyStore.com. And I will leave my 10% BornPrettyStore.com 10% discount code in the description box below. So don't forget to use that. If you want to save 10% on your order from bornprettystore.com, you could also find them on Ally Express as well. So I'm just going in here and doing my thin clear base with my Mia Secret clear acrylic powder, which I always use. I also use the Mia Secret monomer, which is MMA free. I'm also using my number 14 100% German Kolinsky brush. I'm just more comfortable using this unless I have like a young girl or something or someone with tiny tiny nail beds then I'll use like my number six or number eight brush um, so I just finish doing the thin clear base and then I'll go in with my glam and glitz neon glow powders so I have wicked lava starless journey to Mars electrifying and radiant so I have the neon pink that glows, the neon orange that glows, the neon yellow that glows, the neon green that glows, and then the neon blue. So those are the five colors that I chose. And um, I'll start as soon as I'm done doing the thin clear base here. I just show you one hand. I didn't want to have this video going on and on and on and on. So let me know what you ladies and gentlemen think of all the videos that I've been putting up lately I know most of you say you love them and um, you like you know the different designs and the footage but I do know this a lot of the times my pictures do not do my sets justice whatsoever they look way better in person than they do on my camera so I'm gonna be looking into better cameras better phones uh, just better editing in general um, clearly, obviously, if I want to get beyond a thousand subscribers, I need to start stepping up my game. So if there's any of you that are subscribed to me that have reached a thousand yet or are trying for the same goal, let me know what I could be doing different to get there quicker. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, obviously, you know, when you get more people, you start making money, you could buy better stuff. But, um is that the only thing i mean what am what am i doing wrong i i just i need some advice from people i just i need to know what i can do different to kind of get this channel moving along i've been working on this channel since 2015 and i'm still only at 700 and some odd people um in the beginning i worked really really hard to get to a few hundred and um i've kind of plateaued so if you ladies and gentlemen could share 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 like if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet and you're wondering if you should do not even question it it is an awesome channel i love doing nails and um if there's anything that you're not happy with or you're concerned with definitely leave it in the comments i answer all my subbies i subscribe back to all my subbies so i'm very supportive i'm very loyal so I would love to have more people subscribing. I just want to figure out how to get to that. So moving on, I just finished that full nail of electrifying and then I'll go to the next hand and do electrifying over there, which is the thumb. So um, with electrifying, it's pretty runny of a color. So you want to make sure you take out some of that liquid before you're placing it because it can be pretty runny. Um, I kind of have switched up my application process again a little bit because I realized, okay, something isn't all the way right at the cuticle area. So what I did was I just started placing my beads and not really flattening too, too much through the center. Um, just kind of pulling those sides down. And um, if I have to pull more from the top, then I will. But um, so that's what I'm doing now. And I noticed that's what everyone else was doing and I still was just playing with the cuticle area way too much so I really liked how these ended up coming out they ended up looking a lot neater to me in my eyes I mean most people don't notice it but I do because I'm obviously I'm doing nails almost every day so I just want to make sure that you know I'm placing my beads properly and I'm getting my apex built properly and my side walls are tucked properly and you know you could just as you see me doing the nails you can tell 
that I'm very particular with the way that I do them. I'm constantly looking down the barrel of the nail, constantly checking my sidewalls, constantly just making sure that it's laid properly. And there's nothing worse than a misshapen nail, especially when you're using like glow in the darks or colored acrylics, like it stands out more obviously. So you just want to make sure that you're, you know, placing, laying them right, patting them out properly, checking the angles, checking the sidewalls, checking all angles of your nail to make sure that it's not too bulky, that it's built properly, and that when you come in with your capping, it's not going to be too thick. So you don't need to build the whole structure out of the color because you're going to come back into cap. Now it's fine if you want to build most of it and then just go in with like a thin clear layer. That's fine. As long as you don't have like any glitters or anything, then you could get away with doing that. Um, pretty much with these, the same thing. I only had to cap a little bit because I didn't do the drawing until after I filed and buffed. I was thinking about encapsulating it but I was like eh, no because then if I mess up you know I'm gonna have to file it all off and you know so I just waited till the end and did it that way so, just kind of going in there with one more small wet bead just making sure I have my color okay mm -hmm. And then I will move on to the next hand and do the Wicked Lava on that hand. And just cleaning up those side areas. And I did leave some of the drawing, um, the Crayola design, I did leave some of that in so you guys could see how I went about doing that because I know sometimes well most of the time I don't leave in like the 3d work or anything because by the time I get done with the video of the nails it's so long and stuff I don't have enough room or time to fit it in but I did with this one I left some of it in so you guys could get that idea of how I drew it it wasn't hard at all I mean obviously they didn't come out perfect to me they did look like you know, the neon glow crayons the way I wanted them to. And that's all that matters. Obviously, they're short nails, so I can't fit, fit that whole Crayola design on there. So I just did what I could. She loved them. So that's all that mattered to me. She's actually a preschool teacher, so they're perfect for when she... She wanted these for school, for when she started school. So and they came out perfect. Her previous set was the mermaid ones, the ones that I did with, like, the material with the mints and the um purples it was like a few videos ago but that was her first set and then this is her second so now when she starts her first day of school all her kids are gonna love her nails i'm excited to um hear about her first day and what the kids thought <laughs> So now I'm going in with Radiant. I'm starting the Neon Glow Yellow. This is a little bit trickier of a color to use, I would say, just because this one marbles with clear quite a bit. Um, so what I would suggest doing is taking the Radiant, drying out some of the liquid from the back of the brush, and then placing it down. But don't take too big of a bead because you don't want it to dry too much in one spot the reason why I say this is because I noticed when I drain liquid from the back of radiant the color comes through more so you don't have as much marbling with the clear when you dry out some of that liquid from the back of the bead you know and you could kind of tell with this part I drained out a lot of that liquid and placed it and you could barely tell that it was marbling at all and then I'll take one more bead and place it at that cuticle area. I think I'd do a couple more. This color can be tricky to work with, I realized. Um, but I needed a neon glow yellow. I didn't have one. And I'm not crazy. Well, 
it's a nice color and everything i just don't like that it glows green i wish it glowed yellow because i have the neon green that glows green but i'm just gonna have to find like a yellow that glows yellow that's all because it just sucks like when you have the neon rainbow you want them all to glow their particular color and then when you have two right next to each other that glow green even though they're two separate colors it kind of you know defeats the whole rainbow order purpose but it's okay because the main color is neon yellow and that's what you see a majority of the day so that's all I really cared about you know I'm just making sure I place some of that bead down where it's like kind of see-through and then I'll move on to the next middle finger on her left hand and I will start doing that nail so obviously I learned from the previous nail so this nail ended up being much smoother and easier for me to apply knowing now how to work with radiant glam and glitz period is a wetter system some of their colors are runnier than others but i think it's just because of the pigment that's in them so just be mindful of that i mean if you want the color to be in one spot and you don't want it to run all over the nail then all I can suggest is draining liquid out of the back of the bead, but you don't want to drain too much to where it's not moldable either. So just keep that in mind. Now I just place one more bead up at that cuticle area and pull it down. And then I will move on to Journey to Mars, which is the neon glow green. Place one more bead that area there. Then I'll move on. Perfect. So, one more. There we go. Perfect. Now we can move on to Journey to Mars. So it'll be on this pointer finger on the right hand. And on the left hand, it'll be on the ring finger. So what I did was I started on one hand, I started from the pinky to the thumb with the pink. And then in the opposite hand, I started with the thumb to the pinky with the pink. So the only ones that are the same are the two middle fingers, which happen to be the yellow. So I love how Journey to Mars goes on the nail and spreads. Now this is mixed with white acrylic. So just be mindful of that when you place it. Once you start moving it around and plate, like patting it out and pulling it into place, the white marbling goes right away. So it's not like a pain in the ass to work with like the yellow was. So I just placed one more bead up at that cuticle area. And then I believe I'm done with this finger. And I'll move on to the ring on the other hand. I might place one more. Just making sure that that's even. Okay, so one more. That's beautiful. Okay. Perfect. And then I will move on to the next hand. I always love like looking at the um, tissue afterwards like when I wipe the colors I think it's so cool like all the colors and glitters that kind of just mix together after you've wiped them they just look so pretty I love it I was thinking about saving them and just kind of taking like small cuts of them and like displaying them like these are all the sets that I did you know like with the colors and kind of just like memories from the sets you know I don't know, it's just a thought. But just making sure that I'm placing this acrylic nice and neat on the ring finger on this hand. Making sure I have a nice apex going so that when I come in with my clear, it's really just to cap that and add a little more strength to it. So when I feel like this color is enough i'll move on to starless 
which is on the other thumb and the pinky on this hand. But I'm going to leave you guys to it so you could watch. And like I said, I will leave my 10% uh, discount code from boardprettystore.com in the description box below. And I will let you know the colors I use as well. And the Born Pretty product, the drawing gel, you can find easy. So yeah, that's about it guys. Like I said, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video guys so we can keep on trucking and keep on trying to get up there guys. Because once we get to a thousand, I mean, hopefully it'll be easy from that point and we'll grow, grow, and grow because I, I want to share the growth with you guys. I want to start doing more giveaways and stuff like that. I just... We need to just try and work our best to get up to a thousand and keep on going because this channel means a lot to me. You guys mean a lot to me. I would not still be here if it weren't for you guys because honestly, five years, only 700 and something subscribers, most people probably would have quit already, but I'm not those people. I don't give up easy. I'm very, very persistent to a fault. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying because I know one day I will be at 100,000 and I'll look back on this day and ask myself, what were you thinking? Why were you thinking you wouldn't get there? But, you know, I guess it's normal kind of human nature to get down on yourself and think things are not going to go good. But I'm optimistic. I'm totally like just so looking forward to the future with you guys and what this channel has in store for it and everything that is going to come from it i mean i just i feel nothing but positive stuff happening for this channel and i hope that you guys stick around because you will not want to miss upcoming videos upcoming giveaways i'm thinking about bringing the mix it up monday back and I'm also considering doing swaps again, but I'm not sure. So let me know what you ladies think. If you would be interested in buying glitter mixes, would you be interested in buying glitter bundles? Um, even buying my own acrylics, because I'm going to be making my own homemade acrylics again um, and glitter acrylics. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know, because I'm really interested in starting my own acrylic line. I just need to find a company that will sponsor me or manufacture it for me. Um, I wanna do brushes, gels, polishes, the whole nine. Acrylics, that, that's the main part, the acrylics. So hopefully you guys stick with me and hopefully we could get to that point. So I love you guys all so much. Enjoy what's left of the video and I hope you guys like this set. Until my next one, everybody. Have a great day. Day, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.